Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is how to automatically add Outlook mail contacts to go high level. So guys, working with multiple applications can be very difficult sometimes. Now suppose you are using Outlook to send and receive email and to create new contacts. But you also want that the contacts which you are creating in your Outlook account, you want to also add those very same contacts into your go high level CRM. Now the manual process of creating contacts first in your Outlook account and then manually again creating those very same contacts into go high level can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever we will create a new contact inside Office 365 or should I say Outlook, the very same new contact will be automatically created in go high level as well. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now, what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching on the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Outlook to go high level. And click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details, the data of new people, new contacts which we are creating in our Outlook, Outlook account inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, we will send that very same data using Pavli Connect to Go High Level to create that very same contact in Go High Level as well. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Outlook or should I say Microsoft 365. So we will select Microsoft 365 over here. After that, in trigger event, we will select new contact. Click on connect. Select add new connection. And here we have to basically connect our Microsoft Office 365 account with Pavli Connect. So just click on connect with Microsoft Office 365. So because guys, I have already logged into my Outlook account in my browser. So Pavli Connect detected that very same browser. So just click on yes over here in this pop-up window. And we can see that our Microsoft Office 365 basically Outlook account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is showing us expiry date. So the connection which we made will be expired on this particular date that is 3-7-2022. Basically the webbook subscription, the connection which we established between Microsoft Office 365 and Pavli Connect will expire every three days. So you don't have to worry guys, there is a solution to renew this subscription, this connection as well. And we will see that solution in the later part in this video. But first, let's set up our workflow. So after making the connection, let's ignore this expiry date for now and click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, it has changed to waiting for response, which means Pavli Connect is waiting to get the response or the data of creating new contact from Outlook inside Pavli Connect. So we will go back to our Outlook account and here in Outlook account, we will create a new contact. So I'll click on new contact. I'll name this contact as, for example, Ashi Rai is the name of this person. Let's add a field of phone number. This is the phone number. And let's add email address as well. Just click on create. Now we can see that just now in our Outlook account, we have created a new contact named as Ashirai and this is the email and this is the phone number. Now because we have connected our Outlook account with Pavli Connect, 
the details or the data of this very same new contact created will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. And yes guys, here we can see in Pavli Connect, we have received a response over here. And this response is basically the response of this very same new contact creation in our Outlook account. But in this response, we will notice that we have received the subscription ID, the resource URL of that new contact creation as well. But we haven't received the actual details or name, email, phone number of the contact which we have created. So we have to retrieve those details in the next step. So for that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here, once again, we will search for Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 it is. After that, in action event, we will find that there are lots of action event over here, out of which we will select get resource. Click on connect, select add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft 365. So once again, we will connect our Microsoft 365 account or this time I'm making a new connection. But if you want, you can click on select existing connection and use the previous connection, which we have just now made in the previous trigger step as well. So after connecting Microsoft 365 account in our action step again, it is asking us resource URL that for what resource URL we want to extract or get the details. So we have received the response of new contact creation in our trigger window in Pavli Connect. And in this response, we have received a response named as value zero resource. And in front of that, we have this new resource URL, new resource URL of that very same contact. So we have to basically map this very same URL over here in this field. And the process of mapping is very simple. We just have to simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Microsoft Office 365 inside Public Connect in our trigger window. And out of all these responses, we will select the response for value zero resource. So this is the resource URL and we will map it over here and click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find all the details of that newly created contact in our Outlook account. So we have the name of the contact, Archirai, first name, last name. When we will scroll down the, to these responses, we will find this is the phone number of that very same user and this is the email address as well. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected our Outlook account with Pavli Connect and received the details or the data of new contact created in Outlook inside Pavli Connect. Now let's move to step two, where we will send this very same data to go high level. For that, we will scroll down and come to this action step and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for high level. High level it is. After that, it is asking us action event. So here in action event, we will click on create or update contact. Click on connect, select add new connection. And now here we have to connect our go high level account. So we basically required an API token from our high level account to make the connection. So to get the API token, go to your go high level account. This is my go high level account. And after that, on the right side, click on this profiles option. Sorry, on the left side, click on this settings option. And after coming to the settings page, scroll down and you will find the API key over here. So just copy this API key from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste this API key over here and click on save. And now we can see that we have successfully connected our high level account with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for some details of the contact which we want to create in Go High Level like first name, last name, full name, email, phone number, and other details. So we have received these very same details from Outlook inside Pavli Connect. And in our, sec in our action step, we have ret retrieved the details of the newly added contact over here. So we have the first name, last name, email, phone number, and other details as well. So basically from this response, we have to map the details or the data of new contact created in our Outlook account over here in this field. And as we saw, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply, we have to click over here. And from the drop down below, we can see that in our second step, we have get resource. We have received the response for that new contact. And from these responses, select the response for first name. Follow the same process for last name as well. From the drop down, map the response for last name. And once again, for full name. So this is the response for full name. Let's map it. Then email. 
we will map the email address and phone number as well. So this is the response for phone number. So basically all the details of new contact which we have received, we have mapped these details. The rest of the fields we haven't received from Outlook, we haven't added in our Outlook new contact. So we haven't received that data and these fields are not mandatory as well. So we can ignore these fields for now. So we will scroll down and click on this save and send test request button. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the contact details, the details of the person which we have added over here, mapped over here, or basically the contact which we have created in our Outlook account is also created in our Go High Level account as well. So let's check it. We will go back to our Go High Level account, go to the dashboard and contact sections. And yes, guys, you can see that just now we have added a new contact in our Go High Level account with the very same name Ashirai, same email address. And when we will open this contact, we'll find the same phone number as well of this contact. So guys, this is the very same contact which we have just now created in our Outlook account. And the response or the data of this very same contact is captured in Public Connect. And from that, we have also created this very same contact in Go High Level as well, that too automatically. Which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, in uh, the beginning of this automation, we have noticed that we had faced a problem. The issue was the expiry date of the webhook URL or the connection between Microsoft 365 and Pabli Connect. So the, this connection basically expires every three days. But there is a way by which we can renew this connection. So to renew the connection, I'll just suggest that we have created the automation for new contact created in Outlook to create that very same contact in Go High Level. After creating this automation, we'll go back to Public Connect dashboard and here we will create a new workflow to renew the connection every three days. So let's get back to dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Microsoft 365 Connection Renewal. and click on create. Now after that, we can see here in trigger window in choose app, we have to select schedule. So using scheduler, we will schedule by Pabli. We will schedule this workflow for every three, three days so that we can renew the webhook URL of our connection between Microsoft 365 and Pabli Connect every three days. After selecting schedule by Pabli, it is asking us how often you want to run your workflow. So in the drop down below, we have few options out of which we will select at regular interval. Then it is asking us every and here we will enter three and time spam will be days. So we want to execute this workflow every three days. So we have selected that. Then it is asking of us for the time. So time we will, we will enter is of 12 a.m. So this is 000, basically in 24 hour format, it's 12 a.m. And click on save. So now this workflow is scheduled for every three days to run out this specific time. After that, we will scroll down to our action window and here in choose app, we will search for Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 it is. And here in action event, we can see that we have to select here list webhook. Click on connect. Now, because we have connected our Microsoft 365 account with our Public Connect account in previous workflow, so we don't have to make a new connection again. We can select, click on this select existing connection and click on save. Now the connection is made. Just click on save and send test request over here. And after that, in response, we have received the details or the data of webhook connection which we have established between Outlook or Microsoft 365 and Pabli Connect. And here in this response, we have received a response named as value zero ID. So this is the ID of webhook URL subscription, which we have made. And we want to renew the subscription on this ID based on the basis of this ID. So to renew the sub subscription, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button. So in this step, we have received the ID, the subscription ID of the connection. Now in next step, we will actually renew it. So here in choose app, once again, we will select Microsoft 365. And here in action event, this time we will select renew webhook. Click on connect. 
by default it is selected as select existing connection and click on save. Then after that it is asking a subscription ID. So we have received the ID as a subscription ID over here in our second step in our second workflow and we have to basically map this very same ID over here. So for that we will click here and from the drop down below as we know the process of mapping is very simple. Just map this ID response for the ID. Then it is showing us expiry date. So right now while setting up this automation, the expiry date is of after three days. So this automation, this second workflow will also be executing every three days. And after every three days, it will renew the webhook connection and enter the new expiry date over here from that date. So just click on save and send test request. And now we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us which says that the connection or the webhook subscription ID is now renewed. So guys, the automation which we have created is now successfully completed. And we also ensured that the connection between Microsoft 365 and Pabli Connect was expiring every three days. So the webhook subscription was expiring every three days. So we have created another workflow, another automation, which will run every three days and renew that connection. So guys, the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. We saw that. Now let's just test this automation in real time once again. So we will go back to Outlook and create a new contact over here. For example, I'll name the contact as Kunal Kapoor. Let's add an email of this contact, email address and phone number as well. Click on create. Now, just now in our Outlook account, we have created a new contact. Now we will see that instantly as we create a new contact in our Outlook account, automatically the very same contact Kunal Kapoor will be created in our Go High Level account as well. So let's go to our Go High Level account, go to contacts page. And yes, guys, you can see that we have just created a contact named as Kunal Kapoor in Outlook. And automatically, instantly, the very same contact is now created in our Go High Level account as well. So we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. So let's just get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect. We are in trigger window. We have selected Microsoft Office 365 and new contact was our trigger event. Then we connected our Microsoft Office 365 account with Pabli Connect and received a created a new contact inside Outlook account so that we can get the details or the data of that new contact creation in Pabli Connect. But the response which we received was not actually consisting all the details or the data of new contact. It was receiving the response or the resource URL of creating a new contact, but not the actual details. So next step, using the action step of Microsoft Office 365 get resource, we have retrieved the details of the contact. And at last, we have sent that very same data to Go High Level to create that very same contact automatically. And guys, we also noticed that there was a problem between connection of Microsoft Office 365 and Pabli Connect. And that was that connection that Webhook subscription was expiring every three hours, sorry, every three days. So we have created another work workflow and we have scheduled this workflow for every three days. So after every three days, this second workflow will execute and it will renew our existing connection with Microsoft 365. So our first workflow can run flawlessly. So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other application using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.